Jason Bevin. Jason, what's going on? Hey, my big fan. Thank you for having me. What's up, Jason? So I was uh, driving home listening, and I'm glad I'm finally getting to, to talk about this because a lot of the people who've been driving in don't really have an idea of what they're talking about with the PSA in particular. Are you an expert? Are you, are you a PSA expert, Jason? I would, I would never call myself an expert by any means. Uh, I do have a group called Gem Rippers, and what I do is I'm a bulk subber. So people come to me to get their cards prepared and, you know, give them an expected grade and then send out, say, 100 at a time to someone who is a top priority down in, in California. So they walk them in versus if you send them in right now, the, the, the wait is 12 to 15 weeks just to get your cards in the processing. Wow. So by working with someone like myself, you're going to be able to, one, I'll go through all the cards and let you know, give you an, an idea of what I think they're going to be expected grades. I just got 20 cards back. I was right on 18 of them, so it really you know, made me feel good about what we're doing and getting people nines and tens. And that's the other thing that I was listening to people thinking, you know, if you get an eight or a nine that, you know, it's not a good card, you know, a Tom Brady eight for a rookie card is $500, you wow. know, um, depending on the card. And a Kevin Durant nine that I just got back from someone, it's a $2,000 card. So you don't have to just get tens to make it worth your while. And to give you an idea about, you know, you're talking, should you get into the hobby with, the, with your son? I just got into the hobby back in August. And to be where I am now, it's just, it's crazy to think. But anyone can do that because it's things are moving so fastly and it's only going up. So you, isn't something but, you, the but you started during the pandemic, though, and you think it's still going to be something, Jason. Obviously, you're committed to it as someone who does some, some bulk PSA stuff. You, you think this is not going anywhere? Oh, absolutely not. It's, it's just the, the tip of the iceberg. It's just really going up because you see the people who are getting invested into it. Mentioning Kevin Durant, he's he put a million of his own dollars into um, a card company that he's getting involved in. And a lot of celebrities and big name athletes like that's the next big thing. And especially Gary V. He, you know, his his prominence in the hobby is just it's bringing so many more people and card prices. They're especially vintage now. When we say vintage, you know, we're talking the 90s boom. That's really what's exploded the last two months. And it started cards that were fifteen, twenty dollars in December now as the PSA ten are nine hundred dollars, in particular all the Jordans. It's wow. crazy to think. And so for me, I actually got all my Jordans back in June before I got into the hobby and I sent them into PSA. I had no idea what I was doing. I, I looked up on YouTube how to do it. I still haven't got those cards back. <laughs> that's the crazy thing because I sent them in myself. Are you worried? People, are you wor are you, so you don't sound worried about uh, that. No, absolutely not. Because, you know, I did a, a um, what's called a quarterly special and they get last dibs, but I send in cards. Now um, the ones I got back this week were from January 29th. That's, that's 30. It, it that's was 30 days. That's not bad. Not, okay. Not at all. Okay. If you're, if you're investing a, a card, like you're putting a hundred dollars say to send it out and you get it back in a month, you're expecting a card to at least be five extra money. So a hundred dollars to make four hundred is, is is a good investment in my in my eyes. And so if you're doing the right work and you're you're working with the right people, the right group subbers, they shouldn't be just sending it any junk that you send them. They should be going through it and let you know, hey, this one is definitely one you want to send versus this one's not. And that's what's caused PSA to have this such backlog is because people were sending in every last Michael Jordan they ever had, Larry Bird, <laughs> Magic Johnson, because they thought they were going to get rich overnight, and yeah. it doesn't work like that. And what it did, Mutt, is it caused the prices um, PSA to, to jump up. On March 1st, they had a big jump up, and you know that's what there's a big noise right now is people using other companies, but PSA is the one where all the value is. It's where the, all the big auctions you see – and it's just, it's, I'm telling you, it's, this is just the beginning. You're, anyone can get in right now and make a very good, uh, you know, side hobby into what now is, is, I still have a job, but this is my everyday job. 24 seven, I have people reaching out to me, you know, looking to get things moving. Jason, excellent info, man. I appreciate you listening and calling in. Like that's, that's what I mean. Like that, it, it, it answered like a hundred questions. I think for me and a lot of the audience that's sort of in this weird place of, is it a hobby? Is it a business? And how, how do you navigate it? I still have a lot of questions about it, but uh, it's again, it's a longer conversation with Jason. I mean, I I'm, maybe do podcast something talking about this instead of doing it four hours in the show at night. 